What up, guys? It's your girl Coco's Vibe back with another video. So, this video I kind of did before, but I'm doing it again because it's a um 2020 election. So I did my voting absentee ballot before. So now I got another one. This is for the 2020 election for, you know, presidential. So I felt like, I don't know, I should record myself while I'm voting like I did last time. Oops. So I got my computer open. Okay. First, I got to roll the blunt. So this is a voting smoke sesh. <laughs> Cause first I need to roll me a blunt so I can smoke. And then I'm going to vote, which is legal. I have a card, so, you know, it's my medicine, it helps me concentrate. So we're gonna smoke and we're gonna vote for the 2020 election, guys. So, before I start, I hope everybody either get out and vote or either, you know, you had ordered you an absentee ballot. Because they were sending out information for people to get absentee ballots. All you got to do is go to your local, if you're from the United States, go to your local um, Department of Elections through the city. See, mine say the city of Detroit Department of Elections. So, yeah, roll this blunt. Right quick. And boom. All right, guys. So, blunt and then vote. So, I'm probably not going to smoke this whole blood, but I'm definitely going to smoke some of it. Alright, so I got my ashtray, lighter, pen, ballot. So, here we go, guys. We are going to open up the envelope. Okay. This is my envelope. This is my stuff. So I put it in this envelope. I don't need a stamp. I just fill it out. My return address. Let me see. To complete it, if the voter is assigned assisted oh if that means if somebody helped me with it to complete it by the absentee voter so i gotta make sure i sign in that red box right there so that's cool all right so this is the thing okay it says instructions <coughs> for absentee <coughs> voter Step one, <coughs> sorry. Step one, in close you will find voting instructions. Please read them carefully and then vote the ballot. After voting the ballot, place the ballot in the security sleeve, if any, and not provided, refold the ballot, conceal your votes. Okay, so place it back in this thing right here. Sign, date, and return. Okay, and then it says mail it off, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let me put this blunt out because it is time to vote. So, got my envelope, got the envelope that came in. 
I got this. That's my ballot. And it came with some stuff inside. So it says, stop. Don't forget to sign your return ballot. So that is this. So I'm going to go ahead and sign this. What's today's date? Uh, oh, my watch right here. I usually have the date right here on my computer. What the heck? I just got the time. So time check. It is 6 p.m. here where I am living in the United States, which is Detroit, Michigan. Uh, it's 6 p.m. So I'm going to sign it, but I got to wait for my watch to come on to get the date. So, all right. All right, so I signed it, guys. I signed my name right there. Now I got to wait for the date. So stop. Don't forget to sign that part. So I signed that part to make sure. Okay. And it says, the City of Detroit Department of Election notice to absentee voters. Do not start to vote until you have thoroughly, thoroughly studied these instructions. The absentee voted materials re you receive consists of an official absentee ballot, an absentee voter security envelope, and a brown ballot return envelope. So that was the three things that I showed you. Okay, so the city of Detroit elections. Okay, so this ballot track. Oh, so I could track my ballot once it's been mailed. So you can vote absent and you can also track your ballot. So that's very interesting. All right, so this is my official voter's ballot. So I got front and I got back. So I'm gonna read through this first to make sure that well, I'm going to read and I'm going to fill it out, but I'm going to read something. If I don't find figure out who the person is or if I don't know them, I got my computer out so I can look them up. So I'm a Democrat, so I can fill that bubble in right now. See, this is why they make you take them when you be make, taking tests in school and you got to take your fill out the little bubble because they using it for other stuff. That's get you prepared to vote and all this. All right, so it says, okay, so presidential, elector of president, vice president of the United States. Okay, guys, this is a big one, okay? So they got Joe Biden running, Donald Trump. Who is this? Joe Georgeman's Don Blankenship, Howie Hank Hankins, Rocky De La. I don't even know who those guys is. I only know who the two people is, and I know who I'm voting for. So, let me fill that bubble out. So, you know, you got to carefully fill out the circle. And it has to be, I need to take a glass off so I can see. I'm blind even when I take them off. That's so crazy. Like, it can't be, like, any mistakes. Okay, boom. Congre Congress. So, this is for the United States Senator. So they got Gary Peters, he's a Democrat. John James, he's a Republican. Valerie L. Willis is a U.S. taxpayer. Uh, Marcia Squigger, whoever that is, she with the green. And the national law is Doug. So I'm gonna go with Gary Peters because yeah. 
Gary Peters. Okay, I don't know if it's against the law for me to tell you who my, I'm voting for and who's on the ballot. So, I'm just going to fill it out. But it says, Representative, Representatives in Congress, 13th District. So, I already know this person. And I think they already in office. And they might as well just stay. Okay. So, legislative. Representatives in the state legislative ninth district. Okay. Please do not remove this stub. If this detaches, please return with the ballot. Okay, so I got this person. All right, so governor of Wayne State University. Surely. All right. Trustee of the Michigan State University. So you got actually two people. Let me see. I'm going to look up this guy. Oh, as soon as you start typing his name in, it comes right up. Ain't that something? Trustee of the state of uh, State Michigan, Brian was elected to state board trustee for an eight-year term beginning January the 13th. So he already, he's already the um trustee. So let me look up this other girl. Let me see. He already in office. Come on, computer. What's going on? Okay, so Hmm. Okay, I don't really know how long this video is going to be, but I am so sorry, guys. I wanted to have talk and... Okay, so... I know who I'm voting for. I just wanted to look them up to make sure I'm voting for the right person. Okay, so Regent of the University of Michigan. Mark Bernstein, he probably already. So, yep. I know who I'm voting for. I don't even got to look that one up. Okay, members of the State Board of Education. Jason Stewart. Let me see who this is. Mm -hmm. 
okay. So I know who I'm voting for for this one. It's funny, you gotta freaking fill these bubbles out. This is crazy. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Yeah, so I was right about that one. The prosecuting attorney. She been the same since she been in office. People just keep voting her back in. She's not a bad uh, prosecutor. She just been in office for so long. Still gonna vote for her though. Sheriff. Benny Neapolitan. Nobody's running against him. I wonder why. He just running for a sheriff, so. Okay, so clerk. Kathy Garnett, yeah. Okay. Treasurer. Now, my husband already voted. I waited to vote so I could uh, make a video doing it. So, let me see. Register of Deed. Okay, County Commissioner, 7th District. So they voting on a whole lot of stuff. All right. Sorry, guys, my hand is hurting because I'm trying to fill these stupid little bubbles out. Okay, so Justice of Supreme Court. Okay, so it says vote not more than two. Justice of the Supreme Court. Judge of the Court of Appeals, First Di District. She already a judge. Hmm. 
judge of circuit court third incumbent position partial term ending All right, Judge of Circuit Court, Third Circuit. Chandra. They got more women running, I see. It's not just all men this time. That's funny. Let me see, Circuit Court. Don't vote no more than 15. Who is No. One side down, flip over. I'm gonna do this other side. Hey, my hand is hitting. Judge probation court, David. Yep. You gotta make sure you completely fill out the bubbles, guys. We have to completely fill out the bubble. Okay, so judge of the district court, 36th district. Hmm. Okay, so they got a proposal, 21, a proposal constitution amendment to allow money from oil or gas mining state-owned lands continue to be collected state funds for land protection, the creation parks. Regional Enhancement Mileage Renewal Purpose. All right. A proposed constitutional amendment to require search warrants in order to access a person's electronic date. Yep. That's without a doubt. Proposal Neighborhood Environment Bond Proposal. Neighborhood Improvement. Yep. All right, so I got two more questions to go, guys. So two more, let me see. Judge of District 36 District. So they got Christina. We got females running this time, y'all. Females trying to move up. Border member, Detroit Public School. Committee district. Vote no more than three. So
boom that's it guys we are done i felt the the front and the back completely Put one more for here because it said no more than 15, but so. that's it. It said no more than 15, but I just picked a couple more. All right, so here we go. Putting this back in there because it has to go back in here. So I signed it. Now I'm about to put it in here and I'm gonna mail it off tomorrow on my way to work. Yep. There it is, guys. Seal, sign, seal, and deliver. So, there you have it. I voted in the 2020 election year. So, I can officially say I voted. Thanks for watching. And if you watched it this long, make sure you like, make sure you leave a comment down below because I love to read your comments, guys. And make sure you share this out. And if I don't get back right away with you, if you leave a comment, just give me a couple days. I'll get back with you. I work a lot. But thanks for watching. Make sure you vote. 2020 election. Have a great day.